This is the book of Jeremiah 22 and 22. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors, and all thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. Parakata Yahweh, Parakata Yahweh Shai. Parakata Yahweh, Parakata Yahweh Shai. Parakata Yahweh, Parakata Yahweh Shai. Kal Halalyam La, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Makakwadash. Double honor to the Apostles Nellis of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopefully elect. This is the Brother Bashar from the GMS Bahamas Camp. Back at you with another lesson. Shalom Amakim. Uh, I posted a clip on my page uh, yesterday with uh, one of the top pastors down here in the Bahamas. They call him the, uh, the singing prophet. His name is uh, uh, Bishop Lawrence Roll. You know, uh, and the people down here, Jake down here, uh, Benjamin, you're down here in the Bahamas, they kind of gravitate to him because, you know, our people, they love to be uh, entertained. He sings, he dances, and uh, the people kind of emulate him. They worship him in a sense. They throw on their coats, their clothes, when they have on jackets or whatever, for him to walk on. And I could be wrong, but it bears to me that he have a feminine spirit on him, you know, and he's claims to be that he is a man so like if I say it wrong on a effeminate spirit on him feminine feminine in here you know uh, the way he speaks but the fact about it is that even though he still is an Israelite but we know it's good to say from among our people are found most I said from among his people is found wicked men you know what let me let me let me get that <sighs> And I go. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 26. You know what? I could take it from Jeremiah 5 and 23. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our power that give it rain, both in the former and, and the latter in his season. He reserved unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away the things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set it snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and waxen rich. And this pastor here is one of the top pastors down here in the Bahamas. Like I said, his name is Bishop Lawrence Roll. Sings and dances in his hallowed house. You know, this is why the Mosai said that he is against these pastors. They ain't making the house of Israel ready to stand in the day in the battle of the Lord. Everything he teaches of is prosperity and money. You know, they, they, they. These pastors have a lot of blood in their hands, you know, and down here in the Bahamas, uh, people love that garbage. Let me get a, another precept. I'm going to the book of uh, Jeremiah. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and uh, 31. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? And that's Jake for you now. As long as you could prophesy to them sweet things, the things that they want to hear, they cool with it. You know, when you prophesy to them and tell them, thus said the Lord from the scripture, they have a problem with it because they don't want to hear what the word of the Lord is because the word of the Lord is against homosexuality. Uh, are you bulldaggers, you LGBTs? The most I ain't down with that. When you start to tell them these things, they upset with you. All right? But not to stray away too far from what I had at hand. He prophesies a bunch of garbage to our people. 
and our people love to hear it. This is the book of Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, Prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, and they're the things that what our people love to hear. When you tell them, Thus said the Lord, the Most High is against homosexuality. The most high is against eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, conch, crawfish. They don't want to hear that. First thing, some of them jump up and say, Peter say, kill and eat. Where the most high uh, uh, cleanse, let no man say, uh, 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 you know, these nonsense what our people like to pull up. What they like to say, you know. Let me see that. Uh, I, that's uh, Timothy. This is another one they like to quote. First Timothy 4. And uh, three, forbidden to marry and commanded to abstain from meats which Yahweh had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of Yahweh is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. That's one of the scriptures they like to say. Well, half quote that to have a excuse to say that they could eat these unclean things. The Most High does not make mistakes. The Scriptures does not contradict it on self. The Most High is not going to say in one part of the book not to eat it and the next part to eat it. The Most High is not man. The Most High may declare that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. The Most High power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, does not make mistakes. But I can let, uh, I don't have no visual on it because I don't have computer and stuff like that. But and then uh, I have limited space in my phone. To wake with, I don't need, you know, but I can play some of this clip and I can hit a couple of precepts. The Spirit of God come upon me today. I said, eat the bread. And I was eating the dry bread all day. Eat my body. Eat my body. Eat. Now he's saying the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. You know, and we know that a lot of these pastors like to say the Spirit of the Lord come upon them. You know, and he prophesied nothing of prophecy. Nothing. You know, and he doesn't keep the law. He doesn't even teach the law. You know, like I say, you could check on my page. I posted him yesterday. Like he have a, a background scene with him in the wilderness. Bushy area. You know, it's face ball. You know, uh, he got a, he, he all cut up on his head. You know, uh, this is Jeremiah 23. And 21, I have not sent these prophets, yet they run. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned from their evil way, and from the evil of their doings. That's Jeremiah 23, and 21 on down to 22. You know, and... Him as a leader here in the Bahamas, one of the pop, one of the top pastors. You know, uh, uh, if he was actually teaching the word as it is written, a lot of people would turn from their evil ways. But you know, they so caught up in the prosperity doctrine, the money doctrine that they even ain't gonna tell the people the truth. You know, they gonna spew in a bunch of vomit out their mouth, and our people gravitate to that. This is the book of Isaiah eight and twenty. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And they speak not according to this word. The real men are out on the highways and the hedges, starting with the men of great millstone and other like-minded brothers that follow the doctrine of great millstone. Great millstone has 100% truth, a.k.a. GMS. 100% Truth. This is Jeremiah 23 and 25. I have heard what the prophets said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart. And when the Bible speaks of your heart, it goes back to the Hebrew word, love means your mind. 
all right? They speak garbage out of their own mind. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you what you need to do in order to get salvation. And they're preaching and teaching that you are saved. What are we saved from? The book of Matthew 24 and 13, my free paraphrase, and say that he that endured unto the end, the same shall be saved. Enduring in what? Keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes to the best of our ability, the laws that we can keep. Like we always stress, we know that we're not going to be saved by the law, but we keep the law to show the faith in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shia Mashiach. I'm going to let some more of this play again. You know? And take it again from the top. The Spirit of God come upon me today. I said, eat the bread. <laughs> and I was eating the dry bread all day. Eat my body. Eat my body. He told us yesterday, drink three cup, three cover. Now, what he's saying, three cup, three cover. At this point in the clip, he's showing uh, 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 olive oil. Uh, 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 container in his hand, a little small capsule of olive oil, and he's saying the Spirit of the Lord tell him, drink three cover of olive oil. You ever hear any nonsense like that? This is Jeremiah 23 and 27. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as the fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that had a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that had my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What does the child to the wheat said, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai? The real men of the Most High Power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, are out on the highways and the hedges. They're constantly telling, telling you to repent and come back to the one who owns you. That's where the real men of the Lord are. We have all these natural disasters, these, these, we have the, the, the coronavirus and other viruses, the plagues all over the world, all, all, these, all these other type of things going on. But he just spewing a bunch of vomit out of his mouth. Let's let some more play. Of olive oil. Tonight, I'm going to be giving out some oil at Hilton Hotel and a super Now we have uh, the Hilton Hotel located uh, in the northern part of downtown Nassau, Bahamas. He's saying that he's going to be in the Hilton Hotel. This, this, this was a clip from uh, two days ago. He's saying that he's going to be in the Hilton Hotel downtown Nassau. And we know when they have these gatherings in these buildings, it's all about money. You know, it's all about money for them. This is Jeremiah 23 and uh, 31. Behold, I am against the prophets that said the Lord, Salah, behold, Jeremiah 23 and 31. Behold, I am against the prophets, said the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he said. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, said the Lord. That's the things that they teach. Spew a bunch of vomit out their mouth, say the Lord said, the Lord said. Yeah, the most I say, Jeremiah 23 and 32. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not. The true men of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, are out on the highways and hedges, starting with the men of Great Millstone. All right? I'm not saying that you might not have other camps out there who have, uh, 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 came in and don't have uh, 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 some of the truth, but JMS has all of the truth. That's why I said this mainly, I'm speaking mainly about the men of Great Millstone. All right? Where the truth is. We're going to give you the uncut, the raw truth. Whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. Let's let some more play. Natural. Supernatural. Keychain. Instead he teach the be teaching the people he's talking about, he's giving out oil and a supernatural keychain. This is what the men of the Lord right now are supposed to be doing. Supposed to be telling you right now. The true men of the Lord. We now be getting ready to go into the Passover. Sunset. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me 
and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. But they are not teaching you these things. They are not teaching you these things. They are not telling you these things. Everything the doctrine that they teach is uh, the doctrine of money. Uh, 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 they, they speak nothing of the RFID. The RFID microchip, mark of the beast. They teach nothing of it. And like I said, he knows nothing about keeping no laws. All right? Nothing. This is Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips to honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. And that's what they do. They teach the fear of the Lord through the precept of men. The Most High is love. The Most High is a balanced power. The Most High power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai gets angry. And right now the Most High is showing his anger in the four corners of this earth. The coronavirus, where it was put there by Mr. E himself, but we know that man's going out of the Lord. You know, nothing is done unless the Mosai put gives the okay on it. He is the supreme power, the ruler and the creator of the heavens and the earth. All right. Let's listen to some more of this format. Don't you miss it. Meet me at Hilton Hotel, five o'clock on this evening. I'm coming up, rope course, shaka, man, so lobo, shaka, masaya. Rabaka shaka shaka Every roka ma shaka Now you had that vomit right there what he's saying now He's supposedly supposed to be speaking In tongues That's what they call it And tongue simply means Language Not that heal a malanda Kill a mosquito drive and on the garbage Alright let me get a precept on that This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and uh, I can take it from 26. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you had a psalm, had a doctrine, had a tongue, had a revelation, had an interpretation? Let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an, un speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two or at, or at the most by three. And that by cause, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silent in the church, and let him speak unto Yahweh. Now he's speaking that nonsense. Nobody is there to interpret that. You ask him what he say, he can't even tell you what he say himself because he don't know what he's saying. Now listen to a little bit more of it. Oh, Koshaya, every disease I rebuke it. Spirit of the living God. Now he's saying every disease he rebuke it. This is this is second at this chapter sixteen and uh, eight. The mighty logs, the mighty Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? If the Most High send forth something, no one can drive it away, but people. Gravitate like I say they listen to him and they believe when he's saying like he said uh, uh, he prayed in hurricane when it was the, the, the when we had that then they had that, that uh, uh, slight earthquake down in the Cayman Islands and in Jamaica we get a feel it down he was like saying he prevented it from coming here say he prevented it from coming here and our people believe these pastors you know I'm closer with one last precept. You Native Americans, Negroes, and Latinos, seek the men of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shaihud on the highways and the hedges because the truth is not up in those hollow houses. All right? It's not up in there. This is the book of Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, 
and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Seek the men you see out on the highways and the hedges, because that's where the truth is. All right, let me get one last precept out of the book of Proverbs. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. That is where the truth is. All right, don't pay attention to the pastors who spewing for them out of their mouth. They, they are not giving you the truth. They are not preparing you to stand in the day in the battle of the Lord. With that, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and Alice of Great Millstone, because that's where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutation to the hopefully lack in the four winds, doing the work in humility and charity, risking the lives and freedom to do so now more than ever. To you, I salute Akim. Shalom and a bad babal. And a bad babal and kwam yasharala. Shalom.